Hello, Colin here. The shells and pea. Why? Well, because this routine is rather different. It uses some different types of props. Uh, things that I don't think you'll have seen before, so let's play. Three little shells. One fresh pea. The pea must be fresh. This is the oldest trick in the world. You have to just guess where the pea, which shell the pea is under. Fortunes have been made and lost doing this trick and people cheat. They say the hand is quicker than the eye. Watch this. I'm going to go super fast. Oh, the speed, the dynamism, the fantastic speed. Where should the pea be? Under the middle cup. Well, of course, you'd have lost the money. I told you it was a trick. I told you it was a con. I'll do it again. But remember, the hand is quicker than the eye. So please, don't blink. Don't miss a single thing. Everything I do is going to be fair and square. Where should the pea be? Under the middle cup. Well, you know it's not under here. And uh, no, it's not under here. You would have lost a fortune by now. Look, if I put one pea out of the way, uh, one cup, uh, shell out of the way, we'll just use two peas. Two pea or not two pea? That is the question. Where should the pea be? Well, you know it's not under here, so it should be under there, but it's not. Maybe if I do it one-handed. Look, there's the little pea. Two shells. Watch very closely. Where should the pea be? Well, it should be under there. You should have been able to see it under there, but it's not. Oh, I was trying to fool you. And it's not under there, so the pea, yes, is under here. Where should the pea be? Look, we'll use one shell. And the glass. With the glass over the shell, you can make your bet. You know that the pea's not here and it's not there. You know it's not under the glass, so it must be under the shell. Uh, uh, well, that's how you lose your money. What is the secret? Is it uh, the glass? No. Is it the shells? No, it's the little pea. I told you the pea must be fresh, straight from the pod. These special peas are made by the Nanooki Eskimos up north and uh, they will give you a pea and if you make sure it's fresh, marvellous. Would you like a pea? Go on, have a pea on me. Uh, no? Alright. But the Nanooki Eskimos use the peas to catch polar bears. Oh it's true, yes. I kid you not. What they do is they take the shell peas, they cut a hole in the ice and they lay the, the shells all around and the old polar bear swimming along and it smells something it's never smelled before and it sticks his head up out of the ice and it goes what's going on here and it sees the green pea pods all around the hole and it climbs out and the nook the nookies are watching and as the polar bear bends down to pick up the pea the Eskimo jumps out and kicks him in the ice hole that's how they catch their surprise uh, pea and surprise the polar bear. Now, I've never seen anybody use one of these before. Um, it's just a little thing you could get to have a pea. And if you don't want to do the pea joke, well, you don't have to. The pea itself is totally original. It allows you to do things that you can't do with a standard rubber or foam pea. And of course, it's bigger and brighter. It allows you to show and load as easy as it can be. Where do you get the pea? Well, from the Nanooki Eskimos. Or you visit me on Facebook and go into Colin's close-up uh, magical storage from the past and type in, can I have a pea please? And uh, I can send them to you for a very small amount. So there you have it. A new version of a very old trick. Till next time, thank you for watching and TTFN, that's ta-ta for now.